A big night at one of the most famous venues in world football. We're here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we're getting down to the wire in the UEFA Champions League. Tonight, the first leg of the semi-final coming right up. It's Inter, and they take on Milan. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams, and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Starting lineup: Alessandro Bastoni plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Romelu Lukaku starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And Milan's lineup looks like this: Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Ismael Benasser plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And underway now in this Champions League semi final first leg. He could really get at the opposition. Perfect tackle. Martinez. And teammates to play it to. Over the touchline for what will be an inter throw. Martinez. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Alessandro Bastoni. It's with Chalanolu. Lukaku. Lukaku. Just the challenge that was required. Well, so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez, not least because he can be so effective. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Giroud. Pretty straightforward in the end. Lukaku. Good tackle. Olivier Giroud. Sandro Tonali. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Now can they make something happen? Martinez. Lukaku. And it's with Dumfries. Lukaku. Martinez! And a goal! The opening statement of this semi-final. How important can that prove to be?
Well, it's lovely technique, as you can see. He just wraps his foot around the ball and bends it beyond the keeper. Well, that's a good goal. moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be <laughs> Lukaku Mkhitaryan mastery of the passing game well, this could pose problems for the defenders no degree of difficulty at all for the keeper And they stopped them in their tracks. Calabria. It's with Diaz. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Who can he pick out? Krunic. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Martinez and unable to pick out a teammate and that'll be a throw Kea Rade Krunic Tonali with it given away by the Rossoneri Barella, Danmian, the ball with Martinez, and a fine tackle. Can they hit on the break? Hendrik Mikitarian, Di Marco. Martinez that's a splendid pass from Romelu Lukaku and a goal to increase their advantage it's a two goal lead now well here we can see it again it's a beautifully weighted ball behind the back line and then the perfect finish from Lautaro he really does hit this with power. That's an excellent goal. Tindale here, and the ball is moving again. Rafael Leao, not far from the ideal pass. Chalanolu. Barella has it. Martinez. This looks promising. A fine block. So a throw in for Inter here. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And the referee says corner kick. For the short one, Lukaku might fancy it, you know. Possession lost. Inter in a position of menace. Giroud. Benassa. 
Tonali with it. Rade Krunic. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Well, Lautaro Martinez is having plenty to say for himself out there on the pitch. Far for the course, you might say, Stuart. Well, what can you say about him today? He's been a real live wire. Full of tricks, great feet and good goals as well. Top stuff. Rade Krunic. And return to Giroud. Just made sure nothing came of that. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Making progress. Smuggled away. He could pick out a teammate. Lukaku. Lukaku! Well, room for improvement in terms of the finish. Rade Krunic. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Getting in there to intercept. Plenty of support here. And the first half is in the history books here at the Meazza. A staggeringly good first half from Lautaro Martinez. Tell us what you thought of it. Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space, and his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat trick in the second half. And underway now in this Champions League semi final first leg. Lukaku. Martinez. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two goal lead now. Lukaku. Second half of this Champions League semi final first leg underway. Martinez, well, how close was that? Inches away. <laughs> Sandro Tonali, it's with Giroud, Vanessa. High quality defending. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Well, that could be the final warning. Well, he needs to be careful now. Next foul, and it's a card. He's using his strength to good effect. Pretty simple for the keeper. 
And good pressure high up the pitch. Able to get a body in the way. Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. Let's get the latest on the injury situation from our pitch side man, Jeff Shreves. Seems to me that his foot's the problem because he's got trodden in that last challenge. Cheers, Jeff. Calabria. Benasser. And nicely parried away. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top-class goalkeeping. Barella, untidy in possession. Benasser. Diaz. Zero! Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Martinez. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Barella. It's with Chalhanolu. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Brahim. Now Giroud. Milan moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Krunic. Leao. Hernandez. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Real chance. A goal! And it's very much game on here. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. And back underway, you really sense the momentum may well be with Milan now. Henrik Mkhitaryan, Di Marco, Inter in a position of menace, just lost his focus, throw in here, Inter have given away possession, Martinez Lukaku It's neat passing Confidence on the ball Chalanoru Now with Mkhitaryan Pass from Mkhitaryan Not sufficiently accurate Rade Krunic Olivier Giroud when he saw the situation developing and the counter looks on here options available ball lost by Inter Sandro Tonali it's a promising Milan move this could square the game Martinez Martinez Options in the center Diaz Lukaku the ball with Martinez 
Dumfries. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Able to deal with the threat. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. The clock is against Milan, but they've got the ability still to hit back. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. And they do like to press whenever they can. Well, not much time left now. And these Inter supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. What an atmosphere. And a good-looking ball. It's opening up for them. Well cleared away. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Played over. Still not clear. Italian. Well, tremendous block. Benassa. Radek Krunic. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Can they hit on the break? It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Skriniya. On to Lukaku. The supporters want to see him have a go. Able to get a body in the way. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. Taken short. With Italian. Getting in there to intercept. Teo Hernandez. The final whistle then. The second leg to come. But Inter with the lead after this first match. Well, they'll be pleased with that victory, but it's a slender lead they're taking into the second leg. And I think they'll be confident, but it's going to be tight, that's for sure. Well, some days it happens for you, on other days, not at all. And it falls in the latter category as far as he's concerned, Stuart. Well, he didn't have his best game, but he still played a part in the team's victory. He certainly made a contribution. Underway now in this Champions League semi final first leg. Lukaku. And a goal! The opening statement in this semi final. How important could that prove to be? Martinez.